So <laughs> previously on travel. <laughs> um, right, so you can see this black rectangle, which is basically a terminal, and it starts uh, reading encrypting transmission, destination, uh, queue, uh, method of encryption, several layers, and then a message appears. And this message is very reminiscent of a letter from back in the days, um, but it's meant to be read by a certain someone. And in this letter, uh, Lucas is going to basically say something along the lines of, okay, so a couple of months passed on, um, what was the name of the station again? Because I never asked or I forgot to ask. Oh, um, the planet or the... Uh, the, uh, the arcology specifically. Oh, the arcology. Um, you're in Greenville. You're in Greenville. Okay, uh, in Greenville. So um, we ha I have spent a couple of months on Greenville, made some great friends. We've been working for uh, quite some time, but this place is going to be left very quickly, my dear friend, because uh, it's frankly a dump. Um, nothing works around here. Me and my compatriots were nearly uh, killed by the infrastructure, not by bounty hunters, not by some hivers. Um, their subways don't even work. Um, however, I and my fellow teammates have met traces of a very, very important uh, candy seller, which is going to be a jargon for a pharmaceutical company that I am more than interested in finding out what they are on about. Uh, if you heard anything about, and I'm going to put um, astro emoji, generation emoji, um, and um, um, uh, medi medi medicine plus sign near it, uh, be sure to hit me up. Um, I'm also very interested in finding something about uh, a certain security officer uh, by the name of Ans Anslin? Uh, by the name of Anslin, correct. Um, thank you, brother. Hope to see you soon on Sunday. Lucas out and is going to be sent on this terminal through some relays uh, encrypted and in this very, very bizarre language, basically, towards one of my contacts. Very good. Cool. Um, so, yeah, about, you know, about that, <laughs> there's a few things that happen kind of like... Um, off screen uh, in between. So you all make it back to um, <clears throat> your like respective little apartments in Greenville. And um, you see on the news, there is um, like a report of this bombing on the train, you know, on the maglev where they're, they're crediting the, um, the OPA with, um, like this, this bombing and no, you know, they haven't, that you don't hear like a sound bite or anything like that, where a guy like comes on with a, you know, like we're the OPA and we claim uh, responsibility for this bombing. There's a few things that really stand out. Like they show this footage of the like wreckage and it is very heavily edited. Um, it's like they, to try to make it look a lot worse than it actually was. Like they just show everybody just covered in blood, you know, like they've been um, brutally injured. And, uh, and then, you know, they're like talking about the brutality of this, um, this bombing. And, uh, and then they even show the, like where the, the train like went off, where the, the front, like the engine went off. And then they show all the bodies that are littered like around the kind of like this cavern that were the cryo bodies. 
you know, and then they kind of like do like blur them out, but don't really, you know, it's like kind of like the PG-13 version or whatever. And then they and then they show like people on the train and then like you see like the engineer from like the middle compartment. And he's like, yeah, like I heard an explosion and then they're like, wham. And then I just went flying and then like I I like got knocked out and then I woke up and then like and then, you know, they cut to and then they show Anselin. And and then they're like, this um, heroic, um, you know, like trying to like talk her up, like talk up the security forces, like showing how dangerous their job is and all this stuff. And like, just like trying to make her look super heroic and like interviewing her. And she's like talking about how, you know, multiple people were injured and like they had like, you know, collapsed, collapsed ribs and stuff. And um, and then like, and then they also, they say that they're looking for people in connection with this bombing. And, um, there's like, they put up some sketches and you're kind of looking, like looking at this stuff, like, my God, these jackasses. But then they show like some like crappy sketches that sort of kind of look like you, you know? And then, and then one of them is a is like a lion with a a prosthetic leg <laughs> which st- kind of stands out right like the rest of them it's like it's like that doesn't look anything like me and then and then Tess and you see like you see one and you're like uh oh <laughs> um but uh what well, I want to cut the one other thing before we decide what we're gonna do um the uh so um, Lucas, you hear back from your contact in Dragonfly, and um, basically he's asking you for a meeting. He says that he has some some information, you know, about this this company, this or this um, corporation, and um, and like, um, you know, okay. So a few other things that are kind of going on. Um, people seem to be trying to get off of the system and like, you know, like this is also on the news where they're like talking about these, you know, how people are like sleeping in the spaceport, trying to get on to the next flight and stuff. And like shows like the security forces, like cracking people, you know, like, get out of, like, you can't sleep there. (laughs) Um, but, uh, but yeah, that's kind of what's going on. And then like, they talk about how food prices are going up and like, more explosions like in the mines and stuff and kind of like putting almost trying to put the the fear of you know fear of god into people right so um lucas what what how do you want to respond to your contact so your contact is he he has you know you have a name it's dragon um but you know, he, um, he offers to like set you up with like a go between, um, like an information broker, or he wants, he wants to meet with you in person and you've met him before. Um, Dragonfly works on a cell structure and it's basically only you either were recruited by somebody and then you know them, or you know, people that you've worked with or people that you've recruited, or it's completely anonymous, you know, where, um, they um like uh you you just know them by some kind of a handle some kind of a code name or something but he's asking for like a physical meeting i imagine i'm going to uh, send a very very innocuous and public space something like the food court or something (laughs) Uh, and uh pretty much have a futuristic uh, meeting at the diner. Uh, um, um, we probably have a secret handshake or a way of making eye contact. Like, oh yeah, they are the ones that I am supposed to meet. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to respond with a very innocuous, no, nothing like, oh yeah, let's meet and let's bomb this place or let's meet and uh, <laughs> debate this. Let's meet and have a meal at. Uh, intergalactic food uh, uh, court IGC <laughs> let's meet at the IGC 
Okay. So, um, so yeah. Um, do you tell everybody else that you, you know, you have some inside information or? Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, to be honest, I'm going to be eating, uh, with uh, Tesson and Anna, and I'm not going for food at that meeting. It's just a pretext, and I'm going to relate to them. Um, yeah. Um, right now, I, I was about to say ladies and gentlemen, but it's ladies and ladies because our gentlemen. I haven't seen Adrian. Uh, he seemed to uh, have wandered off and uh, probably seek another contract to the spaceport. Yeah, so I'm going to meet um, somebody that may shed some light on uh, the events that happened uh, a day ago. Mm -hmm. Okay, so is everybody, everybody's going to this meeting? Uh, I was going to say, after um, Tess and C's, um the sketch that looks like them on the um, TV, she's just going to like um, fucking... And say the word fuck as she um just sets the timer on her watch to for five hours and start like um scrubbing for like one of those hours like her whole place down more or less to um show that she wasn't here and when she gets to like um where um the person is that like you know owns the um part of other thing she says that um she is leaving because um she has some stuff she has to do so she gives them the rest of the payment for like um her staying there and she just fucks off with them um, all her stuff so about the time when she gets the message from um, Lucas saying, like, you know, they got Inchon and everything, it's like, good, because I'm ready to get off this fucking place. It's because um, in her mind, it's like, fuck, I'm on the news now. That fucking guy definitely saw that. I have to get out of here. So, yeah, she just replies back, like, you know, I eat good, um, because I need to get the fuck out of here now. I'll meet you in um, four hours. I have to do something. So, uh, Lucas, do you, uh, I don't, I'm not used to uh, uh, people, uh, I mean, usually if they have contacts, they try to keep them private. Uh, I'll be happy to go along, uh, but I don't want to, I don't want to cut in. Uh, I guess it's a matter. Of will will that make will that make them nervous or or yeah? Um, I mean they are a pretty enigmatic figure. Um, <clears throat> what I'm more about, if you uh, both agree, is I'm going to meet and it's going to be a very cryptic meeting with this individual. Um, you can just take part of the at the food court or just walk by essentially if i get in some troubles uh you will know what happened to me <laughs> that's yeah. what i'm more about okay. um but i see ourselves as a team so what this uh, individual will tell me might there is no guarantee might be able to give us some intel but they're a trusty one so uh, yeah yeah just um Stick around, and uh, if not, it's up to you <laughs> if you're going to try to uh, help me. I, I, hope, I hope I'm going to be quite incognito. Uh, I'm also going to wear one of those uh, surgical masks just for the purpose that I am sick and I don't want to spread germs, but it's more because mm -hmm. I want to conceal my identity in a very... Mm -hmm. uh, uh, in a very uh, in a way that doesn't attract unwanted attention. It's not an ornate mm -hmm. mask or anything. I'm wearing a, a surgical mask uh, to protect myself from. Uh, Why people go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, of course, I am going to sport my uh, robes, and I'm going to take my uh, helpless, uh, injured <laughs> uh, posture. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Anna's going to be wearing, uh, if you know, she usually has like a, a jumpsuit that's got a patch from an ancestor way or a copy of a patch. It can't, can't possibly still exist by now the original one. 
I'm somebody that was originally uh, uh, worked for NASA, so she has he has like a little kind of commemorative patch on that. She won't be wearing the, the jumpsuit with that on there. Because that's that was she was wearing that when she was uh, on the train. Um question, how how uncommon is it to see people walking around with uh augmented reality type glasses? Um pretty I mean like you know um pretty common like people wear like um they wear like what do you call it like sort of like google glass you know or whatever there's a lot of people that are pretty cybered up you know um now, i i will just have like a fake i have like a fake pair of those that's just to kind of break up my form of my face and kind of uh obscure my eyes a little bit so you kind of break up the form of the face so if someone just looks at that not so great in the drawing uh, they don't necessarily connect the two so i'll be wondering around like i'm you I mean augmented reality sort of things like that you know which if that's common which i suspect it probably is yeah nobody should look mm -hmm. twice yeah um and uh i'll place myself to where i can see um uh uh, Lucas said, and you decided on a table, uh, I mean, an area of the food court that you're going to meet at, like in front of uh, the so and so restaurant or the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We will discuss. We'll meet. Uh, okay, so I, I will. Uh, I'll have a um, uh, part of the time. I'll be sitting in front of another restaurant, uh, but close enough where I can see that direction. We'll meet in the front of uh, Space Maestros. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah, you like sit down at this restaurant, and uh, you're kind of like you know um, eating eating something or pretending like you're eating something, mm -hmm. and um, eventually you know a guy comes in and like. Uh, <laughs> it sits across from you and um he's dressed kind of similarly to how you are um like he has one of those like kind of surgical masks on and um and then he's like you know just or i mean i'm just assuming that you guys are the rest of you are kind of like posted up somewhere kind of nearby yeah right? that's what i was saying like a, at a, at a, i'm seated at a restaurant nearby to where i can keep an eye on it yeah. yeah yeah very public you know but like kind of crowded and yeah. you you can see each other but you know doesn't necessarily like he probably knows maybe more what lucas looks like through yeah. mutual contacts and doesn't know yeah. what what either of you look like you know, necessarily. Well, just anybody else yeah anybody else as well um also too if i can i, I probably know the food court pretty well if they still have like the mirrored you know Things where the person at the uh, counter can see, you know, what's going around in other portions of the things. I'll, I'll kind of keep where I'm, where I'm, I'm trying to line the side of that, so I can get some sight from different angles. Right. Um, so this guy, you know, he he comes in and uh, sits across from you, Lucas, and and he's like, he's like, hey, uh, dragon. You know how are you? Like introduces himself, um, and he's he's it seems like he's trying to be like kind of like friendly, you know, and cordial. Um, and he's you know he's like he's like so okay. I just you know I I got your message. Um, uh, bad news. I think that you might have pissed off somebody kind of powerful mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um there's i mean there's a lot more it's like this thing just keeps going you know it's like this it's like the tip of the iceberg um i kind of i kind of want a little more information um you know like can you tell me something then i can tell you something Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, 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 no. That's that's more than fair. Um, may I attempt to 
I mean, this should not, I mean, uh, if, if it's a check, it's fine, but I kind of want to talk with them through telepathy, if it's more convenient. Like, um, it would eliminate everyone else that might be eavesdropping. So I'm not accessing their mind, uh, let's say, in an invasive way. I'm trying to tell them through the power of my thoughts what I'm going to tell to them. Is this possible or are they going to resist even this? Um, I don't know. I don't think that they would necessarily resist, but I think that it is going, you're going to kind of like burn a lot of, you know, of like, energy. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Like, that's fine. okay. Kind of then, sustaining like a long term conversation. Yeah. Yeah. That's fair. Then I'm going to continue with this coded stuff, but I'm going to drop it for the purposes of the conversation. We will assume that I say some very weird roundabout way of what we are talking about. Okay, so um, I'm going to tell uh, Dragon that I am currently uh, me and uh, two of my friends. I'm going to very, very um, um, trying to think how to say this. I'm just going to be nodding in their directions, but not point or anything. So I am with two of my colleagues here. Um, we kind of want to get off this place. Um, we were caught very off guard. We, when we boarded the train, we observed that a lot of the staff was lackluster or missing. They had like two engineers out, out of a, a team of five or 10 that should be mandatory on such things. They were transporting alongside us passengers some very important cargo, which could very well be a uh, rich man's legal. They were transporting full clones. Um, and these full clones, from what we heard or read upon, are on these astrogen guys. They are the ones that actually have all of this operation. So I kind of already got the fact that they are quite powerful and we might be in danger. We want to uh, go low. So we want to leave this place because this is where all the attention is on us. We would kind of want to move to um, the planet from the ecology, if that would be possible. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I think I can, I think I can arrange something. Um, yeah, um, I mean, that kind of tracks with what I've heard about these guys, like, um, you know, they, they claim to be like leaders in biotech, and that they're like regrowing limbs and stuff like that. But then you hear about them doing weird, shady shit with like, um, or prisoners that are supposed to be executed and, and stuff like that. So I mean, this all kind of, kind of tracks um uh, I, I'm just going to ask Dragon uh, another thing. Would you happen to know, like, they probably have tons of enemies, of course. Somebody of this power and stature always has more enemies than friends. But they were sabotaged last time, and it just coincided with us riding the train that they were trying to transport stuff on. Did they get into an argument or some kind of competition behind the uh, behind the scenes with somebody very recently that might want to put a stop to their operations i mean i i i couldn't really tell you i don't have inside information mm -hmm. i just i know that um like they you know they're they're cloners um they um they like regrow body parts and stuff like that. But I mean, like, who's to say that they wouldn't regrow a body, you know, for somebody to like put a, put a, I mean, that's the kind of stuff that they're, they're doing research into is mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. a mind imprint in the whole body. Like uh, rich people want to get younger and younger. They never want to die. So they are going to transport somebody very rich into a brand new body, essentially. 
Well, yeah, and then also they're doing like weapons research. They're doing virus research. They're doing, you know, they're they're they've got uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, they have um, military contracts. Mm -hmm. Um, doing you know biological research stuff, uh, like weaponized uh, weaponized viruses and yeah. Right, so I imagine we are talking more and they tell me something. We I don't have much to tell them, so I imagine that I pretty much told them anything. I hope I didn't forget something meta-wise. Like, is there a... Uh, I'm getting corrupted by Call of Cthulhu. Is there an idea role or something? Am I missing something telling them? Or uh, this is pretty much like reminding everything? Uh... Um, I mean, yeah, I think that he's just, he's kind of like trying to pick your brain to like, yeah, more than I know about these them. guys. Yeah. And then, you know, you're trying to kind of get inf information from him. So it's like, yeah. you're, you're going back and forth. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Um, I think that you, you didn't miss anything. It's just, um, he's, he like, he, he you know, he says, all right, well, I, I think I know, I know a place where you can lay low. Um, and we should maybe, we should maybe not talk about this stuff in public, Yeah. you know, um, let's go get your, let's go get your friends. We'll, yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to share with him uh, one of my uh, uh, plates because uh, that I never touched because I'm pretty much full. <laughs> Uh, we are going to finish in a couple of minutes, get up. And I want, as we are leaving the diner, the intergalactic diner, uh, very quickly, not, not time consuming or anything, give just a small thought into the minds of Tessan and Anna, like, uh, follow us. You know, like we are on the move, follow us, uh, type of deal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah. Uh, wh what are what are you two? What are you two doing? Are you are you like kind of like revealing yourselves, or are you just kind of following? Oh, um, I'll um, um, get up, take a uh, uh, flash over the receptacle. Uh, I'll look at my watch. Um, uh, and kind of like nod at it, like I've so it's like it's time. I can go up and take my trash to the receptacle, and then just leave the food for it. And I'll be far, I'll far, be going, following them at a distance. You know. Yeah, Tess just flips up their um the hood on their hoodie and just follows them with their um hands in their pocket. <laughs> okay, so um. As you're, you know, you're kind of heading down this, um, going deeper into the, like, levels of the arcology, um, I'm going to say, if you're trying to stay hidden, um, if you want to give me a stealth check, and then if you want to, you know, if you want to know if, like, anybody's following you or anything, like, you could do recon or, you know, um, Let's see, like what would be um trying to think of like the, the appropriate skill. Mm -hmm. Um maybe streetwise too. Oh, I don't have streetwise. That would make a lot of sense, but I don't have streetwise. Yeah, uh I'll do, do recon real quick. Oh, that's really good. Okay. Okay. Then I will do a stealth, not to meta, but um, <laughs> me and Dragon are trying to attract as little attention as possible. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, recon would be if I'm just checking out who's following us, stealth would be how successful I am, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, just like um, if you're trying to like well, keep I'm, an eye on these two and sort of not be seen 
and and just check out your surroundings and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Uh and then the stealth if you're trying trying pretty hard to stay hidden. <laughs> well, I, I don't think that's necessary. It's a crowd. They don't know who I am, so I'm just going to do the recon, I think. Okay. Good. I'm going to do recon because, first off, I'd take note two if I do stealth, so it's already at a, a handicap there, so I'm just going to use my recon there. Okay. Um... <clears throat> So yeah, um you're yeah, like you're you're pretty sure that um whatever is happening, like the um as these as you're sort of following, you know, Dragon and, and Lucas, like as you're going deeper into the arcology, um, that you're not being followed for one. Um and um this guy actually seems kind of nervous himself, you know, um, <clears throat> like uh, it doesn't seem like some kind of an ambush or something like that, I guess. Um, but uh, yeah, if you're just kind of following um are you if, yeah if i'm 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 going to say that you can follow them and you can keep an eye on them like you both got good recon if you're trying mm -hmm. to not be noticed it's going to be a little bit harder <laughs> okay, well all right i'll, I'll like go ahead and same work, elevator I'll, or something i'll go ahead and um, just see um, how stealthy i am right now as well okay well, that's probably not going to be as good as the recon but okay <laughs> I can attempt stealth. <laughs> Let's see. Or actually, you failed your recon, Anna. So you're, but Tessin, you got a, you got a really good score. Right? Okay. Is there any modifiers for this the stealth? Um, if you don't have stealth as a skill, then you're not trained in it, which means you take negative two to the um. No, no, no. I got, got that. I've, I've got the. Uh, oh, all right. Then you're good. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, um, barely just like, but, um, you know, they're, they're kind of like, I like they're to trying to sort just, of sneak around, you know, um, I used to be like ships, this bit. land, this, this land stuff is a pain in the butt. <laughs> yeah. Like you're walking through these, um, like kind of like crowded, um, like a shopping mall, like food court things and like down these hallway, uh, tight little corridors and stuff um Do but you know, it's like it's it's a little bit tough to like keep an eye on them and stay super hidden um yeah. but um eventually you know they you're you uh you you you're pretty sure like i'll just tell you this with your recon rolls you're pretty sure that you're entering into like some gangs territory um, because you're seeing all this graffiti like all over the place that like looks like gang graffiti. Um, so this is getting it's getting like a little more ghetto and you're definitely not seeing the um, like the security, you know, security forces like hanging around, like um, harassing people or whatever, like walking like two, two or three, four thick down, you know, down a hallway, like shoving people out of their way or whatever. Um, and, uh, you okay. sort of come up onto a, um, it's a computer store. Um, and, uh, and then, um, uh, Dragon and Lucas, like, walk into this, uh, computer store. Or it's like, a, you know, like another, like, high-tech kind of, uh, store. Um, uh, there's a lot of this, you know, like... Uh, if, I don't know, like a picture like Shenzhen kind of, you know, like the the crowded like Shenzhen like electronic markets, mm -hmm. kind of like that. Mm -hmm. yeah, uh, computers okay. bazaar. Yeah, people hawking all kinds of electronics and stuff. Yeah. I guess while I'm there, is, are these like cheaper, more expensive, but than the regular? 
and this sort of location or not? Um, do you, okay, do you want to give me a computer troll? Okay. Yeah, I just say that if you walk into this shop and you're kind of looking around, um, okay, yeah, <laughs> definitely. So you're kind of like looking at some of these computers mm -hmm. and um, they're all like sleepers. Like they look like, um, uh, they look like kind of normal, you know, computers, but they have like really really good hardware inside of them like um they uh they're like state-of-the-art like high-tech you know like cutting-edge kind of computers but then they have like crappy cases um and then there's like some stuff you know that there's like there's like kind of random electronics and stuff around here but a lot of these computers are like state-of-the-art but they don't look it mm -hmm. and my experience is like or if i have much of one it's like and how much do these run compared to like regular shops? Um, they're pretty pretty affordable. I mean, like especially mm -hmm. for like the type of hardware that's mm -hmm. in them, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, because like, I guess imagine that I don't know if you know anything about computers, but like, imagine like you see like a really crappy looking computer, and then you look inside of it, and you're like, oh, this has like a thread ripper, and it has you know, it has like all this like really really nice hardware but then the it's like not too badly priced like kind of like maybe it looks like it fell off the back of the truck a little bit <laughs> okay so how would one of the how much would one of the i mean are there things that look like they could help me uh with my job oh yeah yeah um how much are so they, are how you, much are are you, they how much are they running um yeah, so <clears throat> I'm just going to say that, you know, like a dragon, like kind of invites, you know, like invites you in like, like, mm -hmm. hey, let's, let's, let's go into the, into the back, you know, mm -hmm. um, and uh, like Tessin, are you, are you, I mean, are you, you haven't really tried to stay too stealthy, have you? Nah, not really. I, she's just been numb tapping like um her one good um foot, but, like up and down really fast because yeah. um, this is taking really longer than um, she thought it would. Yeah. So he like, he, you know, he kind of like leaves, like Pope tries to get you guys to come into this, you know, like into this back area of this, you know, of this store. Um, and uh, um, just like, are these your, you know, are these the, the friends? Like, I think I saw like you you must be the the uh um the Aslan, right? <laughs> Jeez, what gave that away? Was it the leg, the fur, the lion head? Hey, you know, like uh just I I'm not you know, I'm not here to bust your balls. Like come on, yeah, come on yeah, in. I guess, I guess, I guess, I mean, no. <laughs> Chill out. Um so um he uh he starts pulling up some stuff like um there's um this, he or he he like shows you some stuff that um there's like some uh news stories you know about these um like uh there was uh like a viral outbreak um and then like it was like some of it was like traced to this um this lab um and they they do like virus research and it's like people were trying to prove that estrogen was responsible and um and then like you know he's like he's like okay so so there's this and then um he shows you that they have this uh, like orbiting kind of lab thing where they do all kinds of like sort of like um genetic research but it's it's linked to um like uh basically like weaponized viruses and stuff like that and um and then he shows you some um he shows you some like uh stuff where they're 
they're doing like a uh, genetic kind of like manipulation stuff where they're like talking about how um they can make you like better and new again and like anti-aging you know like stuff like that and like they have all these advertisements and stuff that um are like put this really nice spin on they they, they call it like nugenics which is a horrible name <laughs> but it's like we can make you like young again and uh and you know stuff like that um, choose, the, choose the color of your eyes. Choose the color of your hair. <laughs> yeah. Choose your height. <laughs> um, and then and then he said he's like, he's like, so you know, you know how um, like so one of the things that um dragonfly like traffics in is like smart drugs, um, like uh, what do, what do you call it? Like new new tropics, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um and he like starts referencing like different kinds of um like smart drugs and stuff and then he's talking about um their stuff and how it's like next level it's like um you know you can like they're like manipulating people's dna you know or or uh to like make them smarter or like faster or stronger you know or whatever yeah, yeah, we are pretty much uh, an underground organization. They are a company. They are backed up. They have a lot of financing. Uh, mm. uh, how good is their track record in terms of um, testing? Do they I mean, do they go through the appropriate testing to make sure before they release something that it's not going to have? Uh, side effects, short term or long term, or are they um, just kind of play fast and lose. They, he he's like he's like oh I don't know I mean they have everybody in their pocket. I don't think that they're really, you know, it's like if they want to get something approved, they're going to get it approved. So we have a company that 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 uh, does more than a little dabbling with viruses, and that with uh. Also, with drugs that are going to change your basic DNA, that's uh, uh, Does anybody else besides me see some disaster waiting to happen? Yeah, and I mean they're 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 cloners, you know. It's like these guys they and just that's like, bad. I mean that that was bad enough just by itself, you know. That they're that they're no longer cloning parts; they're cloning people, but. Uh, but this takes it to a whole new level of like bad because the one's mm -hmm. bad, the one is bad and dangerous. Yeah, and then um so and then and then he's like just like so what happened like with the crash? Because you mentioned you mentioned clones, right? You mentioned well, um, it's an assumption, but I think it's a pretty good one. So why why hidden... why do you why do you say that? Like what what happened? Well, there was a hidden car that had uh, I don't know what were you what were you calling the uh, the births? Oh, low birth, like a cryo, or like a sleeper, yeah. like a cryo yeah, sleep low, car. Uh, low birth uh, uh, cryo uh, chambers, which was hidden, and the only way we found it is like when we were going along the outside. The train that had them, the apartment that had them, uh, was the one that got uh, under the that got the hole blown out from underneath and I see the surface of it, and it fell down this crevasse. And cryo chambers were spilling out, were spilling out, and uh, uh, they seemed to want to keep it very, very secretive. And so, okay, so all those bodies that were on the news, all the they could have never been alive. That could have just been some rich guy's clone. Possibly. It could I mean, have been. Yeah. I think the weirdest thing about them is that they all had yes. almost similar names. Which, oh, unless yeah. it was a family of people crowd, they could be anything. Though if it is clones, I do remember my time in the Navy talking about how cloning soldiers would be beneficial for an um, army. You don't have to send just one person out. You can send a whole army of just the clones of one person. Never thought they would probably do it, though. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, that's true. I've forgotten that. Yes, they were, they all had, um, one of the old days would be the equivalent of names like uh, Smith and Jones, or, um, I mean, very, very generic. They were obviously made up names. Mm -hmm. But you found there was like a, there was like a paper trail that went to estrogen. Yeah. Well, like yeah, there was like had their logo on the cryo tubes or something. And the, um, I'm forgetting now. Was that was that, is that what? Well, yeah, we saw the logo on the cryo tubes, correct? Uh, I think Lucas no. knows that. Lucas is the one that got the good look on them. No, you um, you were like, you were kind of going through, you were digging through their computer. Oh, that's right. I was digging through their computer records. Yes. Yeah. I I came across. I just happened to look at their computer records hmm. and, and try and fix the train. I just happened to access their computer records. Right. Um, so you're trying to get off. You're trying to get off world. Yes, as, as possible. I, I don't want to be rude, but this place is a, isn't that hold up. But yeah, I mean, you can lay low here. It's fine. You know, it's fine if they're mm -hmm. if they're looking for you. Yeah. Yeah. Um. But I mean, if you're if you're trying to get off world, um, let me talk. Let me talk to some people. Um, I might I might know somebody. Um, I hope you don't. You know, I hope you don't mind dealing with these uh, these OPA types. I mean, they'll match up. Uh, if, if they decide they want to do anything to us, the government they'll match up our uh, connections with them anyway. So. I guess actually dealing with him is not a problem. The enemy of your enemy is your friend, right? Sort of. Yeah. yeah, well, he said a special case, but yeah. <laughs> but in, in general, I, I like some of them as individuals, not necessarily as a group, but um, uh, I guess I prefer just going about my own business. But uh, but yes, I mean, if, if we have to deal with them, that's, that's, that's fine. We're, we're probably going to be loved with them anyway, so... Okay. Uh, well, okay. Why don't you just why don't you just lay low here for a little while? Uh, let me talk to some people and see what I can dig up. Um, you know, it looks like you've already you've already got what you're got what you own on your back there. So why don't you just make yourself at home for for now? Um, yeah, I'll see what I can do. Um, <clears throat> so he, like, uh, he, you know, takes off and, uh, and then if you're hanging around this store, you can definitely, you can definitely shop if you want. Um, the, uh, let's see. So it is, I think it's going to be, okay, odds are even. Uh, odds. Odds. Okay. Let's see just how good this stuff is. Oh, Jesus. Sorry. Got my dice on my dog. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's good. Um, this stuff is like very high tech. It's like so high tech for the setting. It's tech level 11. So basically you can get um uh like AI stuff, you know, to run like expert programs like intrusion software and stuff like that. And this that is the type of stuff that they, you know, they would have like um hacker tools, you know. Mm -hmm. Um and basically like I forget what they call it. It's not a black box, that's something else. It's um. It looks like you could get like a like a tablet or something that looks like just like a regular handheld, you know, like tablet, mm -hmm. but it's actually like a a really powerful computer that has like mm -hmm. intrusion software, and um, you can run all kinds of like AI programs on it and stuff. So like, it's pretty good stuff. Um, it's a little bit pricier. 
Um, I was about to say any discounts since we are in cahoots. Yeah. <laughs> um, if you're, yeah, okay, here we go. So um, it is going to be um, oh, here we go. If you want to like get a really good computer, it's going to run you about 10,000 credits. Whoa. <laughs> but it's like about, really like like yeah. tech level te tech level tech level, ugh, tech level 11 is going to be some of the best like most high tech stuff that you're going to be able yeah. to find around. Yeah. I was going to ask if they had like um, one of those mechanical um, helper bots, you know, to help like um with maintenance and whatnot. Because that would be really good to have for a mechanic like me. Um. So they don't. They it's it's mostly like computers and like drones and, um, like it's, um, what do you call it? Like, uh, yeah, not not as much like robotics, but you could probably. I mean, if you if you did want to pick up like a, you know, some kind of just like a helper robot, you could definitely do that around here. Yeah, I'll probably go looking for one of them then because that's gonna be really good to have if we're gonna get off of this planet. Mm -hmm. I'd need my a little assistant probably that can help me. Yeah. Um so and I think that you probably could get a friend discount if you talk to them nicely. Uh hang on, I gotta find my find all my robots. Tessin talking nicely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe Anna. Maybe Anna. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> this is having great social skills. I never... <laughs> okay. So yeah, you just got you've got a little bit of time to kill. You know, like do some do a little bit of shopping. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. Since we are between friends, I'm going to finally reveal myself. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> but it's more also because I'm getting hot in the hoodie. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. Uh, it was me all along. It was it was Lucas. Oh my God, it was him. How how organized? I mean, how I mean, they got all this stuff, equipment and stuff like that. How organized do they look? It, it basically, I'm what I'm coming at. Is there anything that I can do for them? Um, uh, basically, in trade for redu at least reducing the price of the computer. Um, you know, re reorganize their their. I mean, it's like a, a write a, pro a write a program for them to reorganize their, their files to access things quickly. Um, uh, uh, me and uh, Tess and uh, do a little bit of um, repairing on the mechanical any mechanical stuff that they have. Uh, just anything that would help them out that you know, kind of trade, and you know, basically get paid in trade somewhat. Not, not 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 the full price of the thing, obviously, but just to knock it down. Um, it's. I think that they 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 kind of like, you know, they're like, um, why don't you why don't you just hang out and talk to Dragon when he gets back? You know, okay. uh, like kind of like talk to, talk to Dragon. He might give you a deal. Like, um, uh, but um, okay, so. If you're shopping, Tessin, um, this is these are not cheap. <laughs> um, the uh, the like, if you're looking for like a dro a dro a droid that a droid that can help with like repairs and stuff like that, um, there you do like find a a um, a guy a, like a dro a droid that has like sort of looks like a CP C three PO kind of unit. Um, that can do all kinds of upgrades. They're like trying to sell you on all the upgrades and stuff, like putting torches, fire extinguishers, med kits, like all kinds of stuff. And then you look at the price tag, and it's one hundred and fifty thousand credits. <laughs> yeah, I just ask him. You got like um one of the smaller like um helper drones, that usually um cheaper ships use. <laughs> Let's see. Like a walking toolkit. Yeah. 
when they were they were only two kids. <laughs> <They're probably laughs> <four> kids. <laughs> I'm just trying to find one of like... those one of those uh, mouse like things from Star Wars from the Death Star that just goes <laughs> in small hatches. Is this a more intelligent Roomba? <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, exactly yeah. Like There's literally like a there you can buy one. It's like literally a sanitation like robot um that like just basically like cleans. Um and they're they're not that cheap. They're uh they're 150,000 credits. <laughs> <laughs> um but so he like kind of leads you around to the back and then um like it shows you like a rusty kind of like like last you know like old like a few a few years old kind of model um and it does not have anywhere near as many upgrades um like he's like he's like yeah we can set you up with um like uh industrial uh cleaning stuff like um it it can do um uh like uh all this you know like repairs and stuff like that um but it's still 50,000 credits <laughs> just the turns her head and just like gives like a uh, shit <laughs> she's just thinking to herself for a minute it's like you know <laughs> It just like uh, I can't afford that. Yeah. I can really afford my or do anything with my earnings. <sighs> she's trying very hard right now to be nice. <laughs> it's just like she's tapping her foot even harder. It's like fuck. <laughs> And then she just gets out of there and goes back to everyone else, mm -hmm. <laughs> trying not make a scene. Now, on these, uh, um, we're going back to like the old time, time like the cyber, that sort of thing like that. Do they have like, are there ones with like slots, you know, where you, you can stick in different programs in the slots and stuff like that? Um, It's more of like the, um, like the kind of work that they're built to do. Cause mm -hmm. like you can buy a, um mm -hmm. like a nanny drone you know or like a nurse drone and then put like different programming in it but it won't be able to repair the ship you know <laughs> it's like, yeah. it'll well, be I'm, like i'm talking about i'm talking about the 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 the, the, the computer yeah oh the computers yeah I yeah mean, so going really is... old style cyberpunk with you had the had the slots to put in the tapes and the stuff like that yeah i was picturing more like cyber decks like um yeah you know, it has like a little tiny screen and then the keyboard and then there's the slot where it like plugs into your, into your head, you know? Okay. Uh, um, but, uh, but yeah, it's like, they're like, you can get something that looks very just innocent looking, like an innocent kind of looking computer that has some pretty good, you know, hacking tools like intrusion tools on it and stuff. Mm -hmm. How about one with uh, several uh, generation back? So, uh, um, 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 no, uh, like a like a lower tech one. Well, well, how about like, well, how about like, say, like, uh, uh, um, until generation so and so. I mean, that sort of thing, like that, where it's you know a couple generations back. Oh yeah, yeah, but it like it doesn't have the um like AI tools and stuff on it. So it's just nowhere near as 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 good. It's good. It's basically going to be like two tech levels lower, like tech level 9. Um like almost wow. like you know, like our computers like now. Um but yeah, it's going to be way cheaper, but still like it's just they're just nowhere near as good as far as like what they can do but he's like he's like just just wait for just to talk to dragon i'm sure he'll he can give you some kind of a deal you know okay right. um i mean if it comes down like i said i'm yeah, okay well i'll watch talk to, talk to dragon um so uh 
Yeah, Dragon, he, like, while you're kind of um, hanging out, you know, he um, he comes back with, with somebody, you know, and um, uh, she, uh, like, walks into this, you know, into this shop, and uh, I'm assuming that you're all just kind of hanging around, or, or you're like maybe eventually wait, make your way back, you know, to this, to this mall. Um, and, uh, she, um, introduces herself, you know, and she says, she says, hello, you know, I'm, uh, I'm Jayla. And, uh, and she talks like, um, she has like a belter accent, you know, um, and like, kind of talks like, talks like a, uh, talks like a belter, like, like um like a you know a man like a box man uh yeah. whatever uh, like it looks at you and like can't you know, remember what the gesture it, is but yeah like sasa you know <laughs> um yeah and uh and then like I, I don't think that any of you guys know exactly like what that it's like sp sp speaking like Balter creole you know um, not, like not just in southern i don't understand this lingo <laughs> yeah anna is like the only one that kind of understands like what she just said you know but she's like like what's up fam you know basically to, like, <laughs> to anna um in like belter creole mm -hmm. um you got an armadillo trying to be a penguin over here <laughs> yeah <laughs> um and then she um she says um so I hear you're looking for you're looking for a ship, yeah. You're looking for a crew, and uh, and you got a score to settle with uh, Astrogen. Yeah. Well, I got a little score to settle with them too. I kind of want to see. I, I kind of want to have a look at this lab, at the High Wind facility, and see what they got going on up there. Sasa? Sorry, are you asking us to infiltrate a lab? To do what? Like you're talking about a lab. You want us to infiltrate a lab or something? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Maybe we go, <laughs> we take a look around at this lab. We see what they got going on. <laughs> Listen, hon. I'm sure you're really interested in this lab, but I ain't like the whole stealthy kind of gal type. I'm more of the mechanic type, so anything you want to do with, with stealthy and sneaking in the lab, you all could do that yourself. I have my own priorities right now. I heard you were but looking to crew up. I heard you needed you need it off world. And that's where it comes in, isn't it? I don't get the ship if I don't help, do I? No, I can use a mechanic. You use yeah. somebody to help with the, you know, decreasing the engines, all that. What model of the ship? Um, it is. Uh, she like pulls it up, and it's a, um, it's a, uh, what do you call it? A um, fast merchant. Okay. Yeah. okay. Tessa just um, stands up and cracks her knuckles and everything as she like just stretches and is like, all right. So we got Bastolo, freezing core, probably 58. It with an electronic core of at least 10,000 gigs. Yeah, I can handle that. All right, I'm on board. Sounds like a good deal to me. And we can, yeah, we, you probably do have people that are much better at the, um, um, the actual infiltration but we're good people to get things set up for you make that easy for you open, get doors to open at the right time um, uh, make distractions um, and possibly if you need to go in there and pull the information after um, uh, you've got it secured good enough and then um, pull out the information for you i mean we're we're more on the tech side than we are on the cp side but uh but you definitely need you're gonna def definitely need uh, some good people both electronics 
engineering, mechanics, uh, computers. Uh, uh, He's like, oh yeah, we got we we got a, we get a full crew together. We get a, we get a bunch of guys. We get a lot of guys. We go down to the docks. We pick up some crew. Any yeah, I'm, thinking, I'm thinking very much of infiltration, so I can definitely like Lucas sees themselves more in the sense that probably cut uh, 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 cut the beard, uh, fresh new cut, uh, put the ropes aside, put some um, make believe imitation like astrogen jumpers, and be like, oh yeah, I am part of this laboratory just to seek some information outside, pretty much. That's because um, you got a very high stealth score. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> got to get um, some drones. Got some drones that can help in the surveillance. Uh, yeah, uh, I think we can work something out. So if you do want to get, like, fake um, fake credentials, you know, and stuff, yeah. stuff like that, that's definitely something that... Um, you know, dragon or like mm -hmm. Firef uh, yeah, Firefly could help you out with. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, and, and uh, then talk. if he's and then if you're still like if you're still eyeing eyeing the computers like like oh you know like that would be very <laughs> useful. Wish I could afford. Um. <laughs> yeah. It'd um, be really useful. Be really useful on the mission. Yeah. Um. The so so a dragon is you know he's like he's like yeah give you know give him the like friend price so it's like uh five five thousand okay that's true okay yeah um the uh the credentials you know and stuff like they're they're gonna just to throw in there um if you do want to get some lab coats and stuff like that that might be a little bit harder but um yeah yeah you know uh ingenuity wise i'm thinking i may be able like if you get the fake ids i might be like oh Crap, I just missed my uh, apparels at home. Don't you have some spare ones <laughs> going into work, pretty much? Uh, yeah, yeah, no, that, that could definitely work. Either we found them, uh, procured them outside, or uh, uh, obtained them from the horse's mouth, essentially. Um, is there any other kind of shopping stuff that you want to do around here oh i'm so sorry i don't know how much credits i have because if you if you do want to get like high tech stuff um aside from you know aside from weapons um this would be a good place to to get like if you want to buy any kind of high tech oh and um the um uh, i'll show i'll show you uh like i'll i'll send you the thing for like how the computer works but it basically like you can run different kinds of programs on it and it has a certain amount of ai that will um it'll basically like it'll give you like a plus two or like you can you can do um uh like a skill that you're not trained in at like a minus one instead of a minus two or a minus three, you know, whatever. Um, because it has like the expert systems on it and stuff. Uh, one thing I'd like to do is go over um, uh, even though they wouldn't be showing anything secretive go over like any news feeds anything like that articles where they're giving interviews and or whatever and and you see some pictures of the uh facility in the background yes we could probably string together uh 
based on the type of facility and pictures that we see, we could probably get uh, at least a, an inkling of what we're going into there. Uh, and then if I can maybe write, uh, write, we could write in on the signal um, and hack their computer at some point, but that's a uh, possibility. But, in the, but, but right now, let's concentrate on the low tech stuff. Let's get every piece of information we can by regular means and start piecing it together. Mm -hmm. um, so the the facility is called the, it's the Astrogen High Wind Facility. And then they just, you know, it's like an orbiting kind of um, like platform. And then it says that they do all kinds of, you know, genetic research and, but there's, there's a, has to be a reason why it's in space, you know, instead of like, um, you know, down, down here, like on the ground, even, even like, okay, so, you know, you've got the different arcologies that mm -hmm. are like on the ground and then they could, they could have like a research facility that where if anything right. got out onto the surface, it wouldn't make it very far. Yeah. You know, if they're like have like monkeys or something like that. Mm -hmm. Um, and so it just it seems like the whole thing just like seems like kind of sketchy. Um yeah. yeah, if they release a virus or something, it will not infect mm -hmm. anyone else, you know. Yeah. Uh I think if there is uh you no know, space elevators, right? Yes, yeah. Well, there it's the space slingshot. Okay. Yeah, but that's like one of the things that they do at the port is that they 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 take tons and tons of like um like metals and stuff like that like rock like ore and then they shoot it out to the yeah. um to the high port and then they you know use it to do um like repairs on capital ships and stuff like that. Right, and but this is separate. This is uh, the facility is separate from the high port, correct? Yes, it's separate from the high port. Yeah, the high port is like, um, it's basically like, if you want to treat the planet like a flyover planet, like it kind of is, you don't ever have to set foot on the ground. Right. It's like, if you want to bring something to, to like pick up goods, you know, or if you want to do something and you might have to go down or deliver goods, you might have to actually go to the low port. But you could mm -hmm. just refuel at the high port or whatever and then just keep going, you know. Now, is this facility in the same orbital plane as the uh as high port? Yeah. But but it's distinct from high port. Or about how far distance wise in orbit is it? Uh, in other words, if they I'm assuming it's far enough that if they needed to blow the the uh facility, it wouldn't damage high port. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And on the but on for you to get off of the um, research facility, obviously a ship is going to be required. You can't <clears throat> you can't send the person back down the other direction. Wait one more time. <clears throat> I'm sorry, those. Uh, um, okay, you got the uh, you got the um, you shoot those flies into uh, into the orbit, and they gather them and stuff like that. But for people to get up there and to get down, obviously they have to come down by ship, correct? Or, yeah. or pods yeah. or something like I mean, that. Okay. So you you could um um it's in like, you know, geosynchronous orbit or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then they have like there's like an orbital. Uh or sorry, mm -hmm. like it's like a like a wagon wheel kind of thing mm -hmm. that like yeah. spins to to simulate gravity. Mm -hmm. Um, and then they have like a and 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 an, um, an O'Neill station or uh, the uh, traditional life. I don't see the the real true ring ones are look are called. Um, so it has like a ship that's like connected to it, like in the middle, you know. Oh, so it can yeah. attach to it. Can like the they can like move the whole facility. Oh. Um, and then there's like a ship. It's like a like a research kind of like vessel kind of thing. A little closer to an O'Neill colony than uh, yeah. Um, but like the it's not meant for 
like people to just live there all the time you know okay so they all probably right. so not that big yeah yeah probably people like Just come and enough, go from the high port to have some sort of gravity okay so you said the gravity on this planet is really really high uh, because a uh, moon is really really high because of the uh materials it's made out of correct yeah it's super super dense like mineral rich um so there'd yeah. be no way probably somebody was just going to sling cargo up into orbit and it collected that anybody could survive in one of those pod, um, cargo pods. They probably would get squished. I, right? I wouldn't try it. Yeah. Okay. Just um, going over weird options that nobody will be expecting. Yeah. <laughs> it's Yeah. It's, I mean, thinking outside the box. Yeah. <laughs> um. So yeah, the the space the space catapult thing just like mm-hmm. fires, you know, cargo like mm-hmm. at super super high velocity, mm-hmm. and then it just escape, you know, like escape velocity, um, and then they you know like just pick it up or whatever, and and let me guess if that place if that had been destroyed, the um. Can they alter the trajectory of the uh, the ramps enough to where it can be flying directly at the station as opposed to near the station? I mean, that's a quick way to to destroy it. That's that is a possibility, you know, because like if you're firing these, you know, mm-hmm. cargo containers, it's like it's like yeah, it's like literally like firing like a you know, a cargo, what do you call it? Like a, hmm. you know, like a huge cargo container yeah. at like, like the speed of sound, you know, or whatever, like escape yeah. velocity. Yeah. I'm and then it that. just goes, you know, it, it tracks off target and then like accidentally hits the station. Like, yeah, that's, you know, that's a plus, that's a possibility. Objective wise. So we got a lot of sources of income here. We definitely want some of the research from the station, from the mm-hmm. uh, research station. Mm-hmm. We might even get some ransom money for some scientists on the station that we might mm-hmm. be able to. Yeah, uh, I'm putting all on the table. Everybody, yeah, I, okay. everyone OPA can be like, to, well, OPA, "Okay, wants to do that. I'm not having any any part of it." Mm-hmm. No, um, I, if, if they're if they're if they're that bad, I just I'm just a favor off them. Yeah, yeah. If yeah. you're if you're having this conversation in front of like anybody, well, I mean, like no. I guess like Dragon would mention that um, the uh, it's well, it's it's you you burn you burn out like you can't you can't just maintain it for forever. <laughs> just, just, well, I mean, yeah. just just like a like a a thought, and then you know. And then um, react physically to it and stuff, yeah. Um, but I, I think well, I, I was just gonna say that Dragon would say that the data alone should be worth like a fortune. Like if mm-hmm. it's if it's high tech, like mm-hmm. even you know, if it's like um smart drugs or like stuff that will manipulate people's DNA to make like super soldiers, you know, or whatever like clones and like all that stuff like that data has got to be worth a fortune just the data alone you know much less yeah, like yeah. if you can get your hands on anything like um uh you know um like actual like synthesized materials like um uh, uh prototype st- like super high tech stuff you know cuz these guys are like bleeding edge like high tech there's got to be like corporate espionage or whatever, where there, mm-hmm. like, there's got to be somebody, you know, buyer out there who's willing yeah. to pay a fortune for this stuff. Yeah. Now, are we are we in agreement that if we run across a um, virus, we're not going to try to take the virus back? Is this correct? No. <laughs> yeah. No. The biological risk will be far too much exactly well i'm, I'm, I'm getting the opa guy to, to agree and see if he agrees to this or not 
Um, and then she's like, she's like, what do you mean? Uh, you know, what, what kind of virus? What do we tell you? Well, I don't, I, I, again, this is one of the things they've been rumored about, but I mean, none of us are qualified to deal with, uh, with anything on that or anything of that magnitude. Mm -hmm. They, they, it scares them enough to where they put it on a, a, um, uh, um, a, uh, or being stationed that could be blown up at a moment's notice. Uh, so uh, I'm just saying if, if the rumors turned out to be true and we do run across something like that, we're not going to be stupid enough to think that we can handle it and try to take it back with us, correct? Because that would be um, the height of suicide. If you're trying to, I think that she says, she says like, oh, you know, like tries to like, like, no, no, you know, don't worry about it. Um, if you want to like tell if she's lying to you, um, I'm not sure what to make your role. Um, yeah, I wanted to say oh, I, I'm going to have, I'm, I'm looking I'm kind of flashing it to uh, Lucas's way. Right, right. Do you want to do you want to read her like service? I file? kind of want to try. Yes, I kind of want because I was just typing. Uh, by the way, great acting. I don't trust her at all. Like mm -hmm. this is a little bit. She has this vibe of uh, a mob boss basically terrorist like, yeah <laughs> yeah yeah she's like a mob boss that just wants some henchmen some goons to be like okay i have more people to send on this mission <laughs> yeah uh, well, so terrorist to some freedom fighters to others like that's kind of what the a the opa you know like they're the one people's army like they they have a reputation for like blowing stuff up and um you know doing a lot of collateral damage and like stuff like that, you know. Yeah. yeah. Doesn't so trust most people. Yes. To be fair, she barely trusts you guys, even though Lucas calls mm -hmm. them them a friend. Tess is like, I don't even really trust you guys. Do you think I'm gonna trust random people? <laughs> Um, so Lucas, do you want to, do you want to read her, uh, surface? I want thoughts? to attempt. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, so, uh, may I use telepathy or the psionic strength? I keep forgetting this. Um, it is, uh, um, telepathy. Okay. Yeah. Telepathy, shall it be? Um, so you're 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 trying to sort of like scan her thoughts, you know, about like this, you know, like what what kind of virus, you know, or whatever, like if they're looking for something specific, and you get this like flash of some kind of horrible memory that she has where there's like all of these people and then she's, you know, like has like a, um, like a mask on, like a, uh, like a back suit, you know? Mm -hmm. the um, and then she's like, she's like in a, um, like surround, like so you can tell that they're belters, like kind of surrounded by belters, but it's like families, like kids and stuff, you know, and they're just like hacking their lungs out and they're, you know, they're like, look like they're dying. And then she's kind of like she's just filled with like you right. know dread, um, and then she's like looking it. at these. So it's like it's like some kind of horrible memory that she has of like some kind of virus. You know, maybe it's linked to this, um, you know, this this company somehow, like Astrogen or something like that. Mm -hmm. Well, obviously, we're not speaking with the actual leader of the OPA, right? She seems more like a is she she is more like a mob boss. She's just like maybe like more of like a capo, you know, yeah, um, like low level mob boss. <laughs> um, that's kind of how she's acting, though. It's like, yeah, we'll go up to the you know we'll go to the docks. We'll get a few more guys. We'll go up to that stay station and you know we'll have a look around. You know, I'm gonna call <laughs> Vini. <laughs> yeah. Um, stick our nose into things and see what we can find, you know. Yeah, no, 
okay this uh, so i will want to uh, talk with dana uh, and pass them aside but for now like i will tell her that you know um uh, we need me and my friends to have a little bit of a private talk like no more than five minutes something like that and when i'm going to talk with you guys i'm going to say two things uh without her hearing us like trying to whisper almost i trust that she's honest in trying to get back at this corporation because i think i feel some strong hatred towards them because of something in her past that happened to her. However, this is a double-edged sword because I believe that she might be compromised by these feelings. Like I, I am afraid that if she has the chance, she will blow up the thing with us inside, even if we didn't contract anything, if it makes sense. Like it seems like very personal. This is personal pretty much what yeah. I feel. Tessa just nods her head, like, I can agree with that. I don't trust her as far as I can throw her, which is a lot if I really try to give a good shove in there. But regardless, I've been betrayed multiple times in my life. And let me tell you, the one thing I've learned is the people that you think you can trust the most for doing something honestly good that are the most devious. Take it from me, as um, Tessa like, bangs on their leg, I learned firsthand in my first explosion and hope for my last. Well, my suggestion is is that you have her go down too. Try to figure out some reason to have her go down. I suspect that won't stop anything. Like, oh, she's uh, she's coming with you. Yeah, but I mean, have have her yeah, actually have her down on the on the planet. I mean, it depends. It's like she might be out for revenge, but there's also such a thing as self preservation instinct too. So. It may or may not help, but it certainly wouldn't hurt. I suggest if she does come down with us, she's the one that leads us. I'd rather have her in the front so she can't stab one of us in the back, literally. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, plus, she, plus she's got a reputation to uh, support here. Uh, uh, getting her to lead from the front probably isn't going to be that hard, I wouldn't think. I mean, they don't, these people are not going to follow cowards. God, so what, you, so oh, what do you say? So we accept and keep an eye out. Like, how are we going to proceed with this? So we are on board or... We I'm on to... board as long as we play mm -hmm. cool and not give away anything that make her suspicious. Oh yeah, no, no, no. So if we are on board, I'm going to turn pan faced towards Gila and be like, "Okay, we're in." And yeah, big toothy grin. You know, just like you know, knew I could like knew I could count on you, um, and uh, and then. She's like, um, okay, yeah, yeah, you know, uh, you 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 do some shopping. You you know, you come. I find you later. I find you here, right? You be you be here, um, mm -hmm. and uh, and she's like, we get up right and early. We go, you know, we head down to the we head down to the docks, and uh, you don't worry about that. You know, we don't need to take the trains or anything. I got that all covered. Yep, sounds good to me. Let's yeah. get our gear together, and you can start that rodeo tomorrow. Then, um, and uh, do you guys mind if we put a pin in it there? Because I was not expecting you to go this route. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, she said she had a ship. That's all Tessa needs to hear. <laughs> I'm, I'm desperate, man. Um, yeah. I had I had like kind of an idea, like, um. It didn't didn't go quite as I quite as I thought it was going to. Uh, I thought that you guys were gonna kind of like do a little more digging about like <laughs> this this like this corporation and all that. Um, well, I'm gonna I'm still gonna try to get as much digging in as I can, but there's gonna be a limit of an amount that we can do. 
I mean, um, I don't know what we're talking about. We're going to like a laboratory about the corporation. So there's information there regardless. It's still a good chance to get information. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I think I think it was seeing our pictures on the news is like, well, might as well be hunting for a sheep as for a goat. Yeah. Yeah. So okay, but if you're if you are like say that you you know you do some research like into this corporation and there's just like all this stuff like all this um really just shady shit where it's like kind of just under the surface like mm-hmm. they were connected to a scandal where they were basically like the state was um executing prisoners like and and they execute people for dumb shit like low level kind of offenses like a certain amount of like drug charges you know or something like that like they'll execute people for um like nonviolent crimes <laughs> um yeah, yeah. and uh, some marijuana or something very mild not well not not like not like n- not necessarily like marijuana but like oh like a a certain amount like a kilo of cocaine you know or something like that okay yeah like yeah. they'll they'll execute people for that um mm-hmm. or like or a certain amount of like drug offenses and stuff and like um they're just really draconian with their you know with their punishments and then like you know that like on this these sick and twisted kind of game shows that they have it's like they have this overflowing prison population and then they're trying to keep people drinking light beer and watching tv instead of protesting so they have these like gladiator kind of games but um the astrogen was connected to um like organ tourism where rich people were coming in and then they were getting like replacement kidneys you know or eyeballs or just whatever and it was from executed prisoners they had like a deal with the state and then they kind of covered it up. And then like they're um linked to like kind of like a COVID like kind of outbreak where there was an outbreak that happened. And then they like it was a weaponized virus. And or it or it seemed like it was, you know. And and like they're like, it was this, you know, it was this lab. It came from this lab, and that's like the lab that you're, you know, going to. Um, yeah, yeah, it's just it's just smoke and mirrors to try to keep as much as many people in prison as possible have a continuous show um, while it's a front, basically. These guys are more uh, mafia than uh, Jala is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I right. Feel- I like we we are more of the good guys in this in scenario in this instance. I feel a lot. I mean, I mean to be fair, we've technically kind of been the good guys this whole time. If you really think about starting off with helping stop the train from, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. getting worse. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I like this reinforcement a little bit. Like, yeah, I can get behind those guys as well that we just met right now. Like, yeah, yeah, that's fair. Oh, I just looked, um, and um, it looks like uh, YouTube just finished processing part two, so I can put it up right now. Pretty good. Also, um, if we're going to get stuff, um, I would like to buy a snub pistol with a couple mags for it, because, yeah, snub pistols we're going to have if they have it. Um, So is that like, um, is that like a caseless round or something where... Um, it's a magazine, so it's like you know an actual like clip magazine you put in there. Right. But it, it is it something where it's not going to go through the hull? Yeah, it wouldn't like go through that? the hull. It's not like an actual like laser or plasma pistol. It's just like a normal like standard pistol with bullets. Oh, okay. They're usually not that strong. They can pierce through like um armor specifically if you like get past the cap for the armor. Uh, case. Right. Case in point, um, I have a um flak um jacket which has a plus five to protection. So, if the damage goes past plus five, I'd start taking damage basically, which is really bad. Um. Okay. Yeah, I just wanted to know if it was like something specific that you wanted because you're like going onto a space station or onto a uh, you know, a spaceship or whatever. Now, as a standard, just pistol, just so like you have something for like a range combat thing. Because I have a melee combat 
weapon, which is a combat axe, because that's a standard thing you can have, an axe. Mm -hmm. But yeah. a snuff pistol is like, that's a standard pistol that like you could just have just to defend yourself from long range. Yeah. Yeah. No, I was just thinking like, um, you know how, okay, like, well, I'll, I'll say that you can get um, like easily enough, you know, through through either or, or is this something that you wanted to buy or is this something that you have oh no i am um, so i have on my sheet but like um you said like um don't take it off or like you know don't say we have it unless if i need to say i have it so i don't know if i have it right now i was asking well, if i could buy it no um so it's like because you said that basically you packed up everything that you had yeah right? and then you threw it in your bag and then threw it over your shoulder and like i'm getting the fuck you know i'm getting out of here right just say that it was like in a you know in a lockbox somewhere it's more like walking around with with a firearm in public you know in front of the gestapo yeah i still have my old fucking navy jumper uniform anyways too so that could have been the pistol i had back then yeah exactly just say that it's like a service weapon you know or, or like a um, a sidearm that you had from when you were in the navy you know oh wait were you navy or were you marines um i was navy okay yeah that's what i thought okay yeah literally um the whole point of like captain turk he's with the navy because i was with the navy too he was my old captain and right. that's he's my contact because it just makes sense um so okay so do you want to come back to it next week you're you're muted leslie you're you're muted you're muted. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, what I'm saying is, I, I've got the names for my three contacts, but that's as far as I've got. We, we might want to get together and work out some good ones. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. I have allies. The problem with allies, though, are unlike contacts, your allies, you don't know where the fuck they are. They're just somewhere until the fucking um, GM says, Yeah. Oh, yeah, they're, they are. they're on that planet. <laughs> yeah. Well, well I'm expecting one of them probably to pass through the station at some point, you know, but. Uh, well, you, you like make connections with the. um like the NPCs, you know, or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, or I mean, or like with like crew and stuff like that. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I kind of like that in like Traveler where it's like, so yeah, that's how I know that guy, you know. Oh yeah, exactly, yeah. Can't wait to see Meat, Meat Tank again because he's just a guy in armor who doesn't talk. That's his whole character. That's what I wrote for him. Just a yeah. big guy in armor. That's it. Yeah. He, he's yeah. basically Doom Guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh Anna will probably get uh a few more of the extended um yeah, there's that basically the suit designs are pretty much the same except a little bit better built for the belter suits uh back suits, right? And they have you can plug in the units with a bigger or longer air supply, correct? Is that the way you described it? Um I think. But you said something about um, three to, on the one and seven on another, or something to like that effect. Or... Well, I'd have to I'd have to look at your at your sheet because um, I think there 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 is ones that have armor. There is like oh, armor okay. back suits, and then there's like belter back suits that uh, have like instead of having it like three hours of hour, they would have like twelve that's hours. That's probably of hour. what it, that's probably what it is uh, because. Yeah. I think they're called uh, from heavy, Belter, they're called Belter background to scout career. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just say that it has like, it, it has way more, you know, air, like air supply. And then, I mean, it might have a little bit of armor. I'd have to yeah. look. Um, there are like levels of armor. So you probably have like a heavy vac suit, which um, I'm not sure what the plus is to your um, protection, but do you note that? Because if we get in combat, that protection will save your life. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No health yeah, like, in non traveler. <laughs> Arm, armored vac suits are like that's that's not that's not nothing you know like armored vac suit is pretty good yeah mm -hmm. they're also hell of expensive because of the fact they're armored <laughs> yeah yeah but it's like if you're it, it makes more sense if you're like if you come from a belter background that you have a better vac suit you know yeah because i mean i mean it's the very least i don't know about the armored against weapons per se but say like they might have ones that are have more protection against Glancy yeah. micrometeorites or something like that. I'll um I'll look um, uh I'll I'll take a better I'll take a closer look and then I'll see if there's because I mean I think 
what I would say is just like a belter back suit, you know? I mean, that makes sense, yeah. like instead of an armor yeah. back suit. But I, yeah, I'll, that's I'll make I sure to find out like how much air it has in it and stuff and if it does have any armor. And then yeah. um, I'll also send you the thing. I'll send you like a stat block for your new computer. Yeah. Okay. Also, do you keep this in mind? You can choose either your um, dexterity mod, well, not dexterity mod, your dexterity, how much dexterity you have, or your endurance, whichever is better. That's basically Always your actual six. normal. Yeah. So that's your actual health. If um, you lose all that, you are basically down, and you can start bleeding out. So it's either yeah. dex or your endurance. So case in point, I'm using my dex because I have a seven in dex, plus the plus five for my um suit. So I have twelve technical mm -hmm. um points of like um protection. Well, I have five mm -hmm. points of protection, but all together makes twelve. So if anything mm -hmm. goes past five, um, I will start bleeding out probably. But if um I lose all that health, I could either die or just be unconscious and bleeding out. So if like next turn comes over and no one can do a actual like me medic check on me to get me back up i could die it's mm -hmm. really it's stressful when combat comes up and i'm traveler because you need to make sure that you know what your character has and what you do that's why i said my character is definitely not a frontliner like that's mm -hmm. that would be someone else <laughs> who can take hits mm -hmm. yeah well let's see yeah, mine's uh, dex 11 uh and uh endurance 10 so yeah, so all the stats are very pretty good. decent except for social, which is fine. <laughs> yeah, definitely use your dex for your health. Then that's eleven. Like you, you're pretty tanky there, <laughs> or just agile, I guess, is the correct. I'm word agile. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Strength is strength is eight, so it's not yeah, not really particularly tanky. Yeah. Now your endurance would mean you're tanky. Dex just means oh, you're really agile in combat, so you can get by pretty exactly. good. Yeah. Yeah, Lucas is more like this. Uh, it's like if you would combine the scout and the heavy from Team Fortress to like, I got an extremity of 10 and an endurance of 10. So I can take bullets very, very fast. Yeah, Tessin definitely is the um the, the fucking, um, yeah, you guys fight. Um, I'm going to stay here. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, and, well, Anna's going to try to you know, shoot things, basically, if, if she had to do any of that sort of thing like that. But yeah, I mean, I figured the she has an eight because she works out constantly and she was a belter from the traditional lower gravity thing. So she's worked very hard to make sure that she said that, that, you know, she doesn't get kind of, uh, that she's not at a disadvantage when she goes to a heavier gravity environment, you know. But uh, well, I think that you also made stage. that. Yeah, you also made that kind of clear. You're like, we are not like frontline fighters. Like we're more like technical. You know, yeah, like we're. Exactly. I'm good at getting exactly. information. You know, I'm good at like doing mechanical stuff. Yeah. Exactly. Um, yeah. Well, so we're, we're not we're not shot trees by any means. <laughs> yeah. In fact, okay. So say that the um, like the credentials that you get, just say that you're like maintenance or something like mm -hmm. that yeah. you know like it says yeah. that you're um like part of like the um like repair and like maintenance crew or whatever mm 